We're going to be talking about the portrait of Rudolfo Anaya by Gaspar Enriquez. And this is the first commissioned portrait of a Latino sitter by a Latino artist at the National Portrait Gallery. Rudolfo Anaya is a writer from New Mexico and he was the first Mexican-American best-selling author with a novel he published in 1972 titled Bless Me Ultima. His work is very known for its lyricism. It's very lyrical work, it's very poetic, and he addresses the confluence of cultures that occurs in the Southwest. Gaspar Enriquez does a similar operation through his art. Gaspar has been very much grounded to the place where he grew up in El Paso. Much of his work depicts his own students. He was a high school teacher for many, many years. He made portraits of the youth of the barrio. Both Rudolfo Anaya and Gaspar Enriquez have parallel practices of addressing the Chicano experience through their art forms. The Chicano movement was a movement that was cultural, political, and social. Its goal was to achieve social empowerment for Mexican Americans. The portrait is made in the signature style of Gaspar Enriquez, who in the 1980s decided to put down his brush and to paint only with airbrush. He is very intent in capturing attitude and the approach to life of his sitters. He paints in this black and white style that he has. The background is a stark white. There are no contextual elements. You only see his face up to his shoulders, more or less. There is a shadow of a pear tree on his face. It is a pear tree in the front yard of Rudolf Anaya. He's a man very connected to nature. He writes a lot about nature and landscape in his own novels. I think Gaspar brings in that shadow as a technical element to work on this optical illusion he creates with the airbrush and this hyper-realistic treatment that is devoid of contextual elements around, however, has very subtle ways of grounding the subject. Gaspar is a real master of airbrushed acrylic. He can get an incredible amount of detail with that medium, to the point that he, it's confusing. When you see the painting on the wall and you see it from a certain distance, you have no idea if it's a photograph or what medium exactly it is. He creates these levels of textures and of dimension in his works. And in the face of Anaya, it is possible to delight in the amount of textures he creates from his hair to his eyebrows and his mustache and his skin. It's a beautifully made portrait. Rudolfo Anaya and Gaspar Enriquez have collaborated together in books, so they had that history of collaboration already. And they had a complete alignment of themes in their work in terms of representing different aspects of the Chicano experience. And that is why we chose to pair these artists.